to Let's Play Skyrim Special Edition. Uh, quick little disclaimer here before we get started. I have recorded this episode once before, but uh, I lost an absolute ton of footage for this and for the Wasteland 2 LP. So um, we're going to go through this again. Uh, off screen quickly, what I did before we, uh, we loaded up this save here. I uh, enchanted the circlet and a ring. Um, we also have this uh, amulet for extra magicka, which is really nice. We still don't have as much um, regen as we did with the robes, but we have a bit more protection both from uh, being stabbed and from the elements, which, uh, well, is excessively useful to us because we do die rather easily on this difficulty. The Hall of Countenance, I don't think I've been in here. Like, ever. I've only ever done the uh, the Mage's Guild in Skyrim once. I actually really found the uh, the guilds underwhelming the first time I played the game, so I never went back Changing to them. Services are one of the few things that keep us in touch with the rest of Skyrim. Coolio. Now, for those of you uh, who missed the last episode, we are going to see the Augur of Dunlane down in the basements of uh, of the college here. I guess this is like the intermediate dormitory. We're in the Hall of Attainment, which is for the uh, the beginner mages. So I guess this is where the older guys live who've been here a little while. So down into the creepy effigy filled basement of the college. It's such a lovely place. I feel like we're going to fit in and be right at home down here with all of the skulls and bugs and whatever else is living here. Okay. Um, yep, can we, uh, stand you on, um, so what we are going to do, slide ahead of knowledge, let favor the Jizargo scroll, yep, if you just want to let us through here, Stan, that's great, thank you. Don't get too far ahead. Oh, let's, let's maybe, um, hide from this ice rift. There we are. We'll let, uh, we'll let Sten grab the attention of these things. That's kind of what we pay him for. Uh, I'm going to gather all the ingredients we come across down here because... Uh, well, because there's no reason not to, really. Glow bugs in the ceiling. Now, um, there is a cool little experiment that you can do with this thing here. If you add fire salts and a ruby into this offering box and pull the trigger, you get a um, flame matronach to spawn. But it is hostile and you lose the ruby. So um, there's not too much point in us doing that, except if you want to farm XP in a really roundabout way. Ooh, nice shade. That makes good poisons. Get these glow books. I don't know what these do yet. I imagine something along the night eye line. Okay. So what we're going to do here, we're going to um, equip Jizargo's flame scroll. Okay. Um, I think we're then going to uh, gonna do a little a small amount of healing. I uh, I think Jizargo has a few kinks to uh, work out with this this particular uh, spell. Nothing up here, so we'll hop down. The Midden Dark. As if this bit wasn't bad enough, we go to a dark bit of the Midden. By the way, who calls their basement the Midden? Is that a word I don't know? Stenvar, is that like an old Nord word? Okay, good talk. Oh, lovely. Just... I can... I can see what... Ooh. Now then. Do I allow my greed to throw me from a bridge down into a dark pit, which potentially I don't have a way out of for the sake of a single chest? I think I do. 50 gold. 
a shield. We'll take that. We might be able to enchant it, do something with it for uh, Stenvar. Make him a bit more survival, uh, survivable. Seeing as right now, I don't think he is uh, all that survivable having a... Um... Oh, okay, okay. Let's... Um... Oh, yes. I had the wrong spell equipped there. This isn't actually what I meant to do. I meant to throw fireballs at them. Hey-ho. We looked cool and we had uh, cool purple ethereal swords. A loot. I really don't think Matthias knows how to play an instrument or has any interest in it. But, um, well, it looked well made. So who knows, maybe Stenvar would like it, or we can sell it to a sell it to a college or something, like the, the Bard's College. Making my way downtown, I'm walking fast and I'm homebound. Ba -do -ba -do -do -do. Oh. oh! This place continues to be lovely. Midden incident report. The missing students were found in the midden this morning, dead as expected. None of us bothered keeping a detect life charm for the search at this point. The bodies were found together, each suffering the same deformations. Peeled and bubbling skin on the arms and face. Conjurer's burns, as it's commonly referred to around the college. There's little doubt they were attempting a summoning ritual well beyond their capabilities. The relic nearby put any doubt of this theory to rest. I admit that I've never seen one like it. A large, segmented sculpture of a gauntlet, the Daedric sigil emblazoned upon it on the palm. Attempts to move it were in vain. I must show it to the Archmage, set off during the upcoming visit. Perhaps he will know more. While we couldn't move the relic, I was able to pry four rings from it. I'm sure there's a connection between them and the ritual the students were attempting. I'll store them in the Arcanium until we can consult with a Conjuration Master to learn more. Okay, so maybe we go speak to your orc friend about that at some point. I hear skeletons. That distinctive uh, creak that they make when moving. Now, they should count towards our um, undead limit. So I think we're going to quickly uh, keep pressing uh, F instead of Q. Equip the flame scroll again. Cool. Okay, so you can only do that one at a time. Looks like if you touch multiple... Oh. Well, I don't think we're going to keep that progress. Yeah, it looks like if you uh, test that scroll on multiple, you just, you just die. So, uh, Jizargo definitely needs to be working on that scroll. While it is particularly effective against the undead, it's also particularly effective against myself. Cool, some alchemy ups. We really need to do some more alchemy. We've done a little bit, but, um... Craft a couple of those. Quite alchemy, yes. But yeah, um, we've done a little bit of alchemy, but we're not very good at it yet. Continue forwards with our uh, our flames at the ready. That way. Well, if we were supposed to go that way, we're going to explore this. Is this? Oh well, I guess we've already explored that way. That was the uh, the chest that we jumped off there for. Really must do something about getting Stenvar some uh, a complete set of armor of some. That is a life lesson, I guess. Still, you persist. Very well. You may answer. Wow, well, for, for the whole, um, you will fail speech, you didn't stick to it very long? Hello, glowing bauble. How are you? I am that which you have been seeking. I seek a lot of things. Are you just going to be vague this entire time? Those who have sent you have not told you what they seek, what 
what you seek. No, I, I was seeking you and I found you. Indeed. And so you have come looking, though you do not know why. Something about a doomsday bauble. Okay. The Thalmor came seeking answers as well, unaware they will be as undoing. Your path now follows his, though you will arrive too late. Thalmor, you mean Arcano? One who calls himself Arcano. Yeah, I thought it'd be that guy. Knew he wanted my bauble. His path will cross yours in time. But first, you must find that which you need. Which would be... You and those aiding you wish to know more about the Eye of Magnus. You wish to avoid the disaster of which you are not yet aware. I wish to avoid all disasters, really. I don't have to, to be unaware of them. Which is where? You're not going to tell me, are you? Okay, but see, that guy doesn't really help much. Hello, giant bauble friend. See, Stenvart, this is why you shouldn't be a mage. Everyone talks in riddles, including the baubles. And you would make a great doorstop, buddy, but uh, we kind of need to leave. So we're going to... Yeah, I guess we'll just go out the way we, uh, we should have came in if we didn't get greedy for that chest. We still need to find one more undead to test Jizargo's scroll upon. Although, I think the tests have been pretty conclusive at this point. You essentially blow the heck out of oneself. And any undead in the very near vicinity. Now, I'm still a little concerned as to why this is in the college basement. Why do we have a crazy murder basement full of crazy rituals in Daedric hands. I would just... Did nobody even move the skeletons? Are we going for a creepy feel down here? Because I feel like we are. I think that's exactly what the plan was here. Ooh, speaking of creepy. I think that's uh, the chorus, chorus, whatever it is. The, uh, the bugs, the Thalmor keep. That's one of those things, uh, different forms. Okay. Let's go find the Archmage. We'll speak to him. Ooh, an icy haze from the Sea of Ghosts. Well, that's not good. It's already uh, already pretty cold up here. We're probably going to wait for uh, tomorrow to set off anyway. Wait, don't you have the trinket of someone's? Yeah, you have something of Onmund's. Can you get it back? How precious. Onmund is too afraid to deal with me himself, and so he sent you. Something like that, I guess. This very simple for you. All my trades are final. Onmund knew this ahead of time and went through with it anyway. Okay. So there's nothing more to be said. Uh, there must be something I can do to change your mind. Look how persistent you are. Charming, really. Onman gave up the first time I said no, but not you. Not me, All indeed. Right. I'll tell you a little story. Story time sounds good. Let's okay. Pretend for a moment that a certain individual was looking to acquire a particular staff. Let's also pretend that he traded some valuable items for said staff. Okay. And it was only later that it was realized that this individual might 
misuse such a staff. The resulting disaster would reflect quite poorly on everyone involved. Are you following me? Um, I'm following you, but I want you to get to the destination pretty quickly here. You're not very good at this, are you? No. Look, I traded a staff to someone and found out later that was a bad idea, so I'd like the staff back. Understand now? Yep. You won't let Onmund out of his trade, but you want out of one of yours? It's an entirely different situation. I don't expect you to comprehend the nuances of these matters. Oh, you're one of those people, okay. Regardless, I'm making you a very simple offer. You get me the staff and I give you Onman's precious amulet. Do we have a deal? Mm. So you want your staff back? Yes. I thought we'd gotten past that bit already. Onman's amulet in exchange for my staff. Sure, where is it? Finally, we have an agreement. I look forward to having it back soon. The sooner the better, in fact. Mm -hmm. Well, first time to go speak to the Archmage. And uh, keep my eyes out for Onkarno. Like, we always knew the guy was an ass, but apparently he's doing... Uh, he's looking into the uh, the giant doom bauble here. Hello, Mr. Archmage. What you learn here will last you a lifetime. Several, if you're talented. Do you remember that you've said that to me before? I feel like you don't. Even with the college, it's no secret that the college's reputation in Skyrim is tainted. Um. Yeah, I have something to tell you. Really? And what might that be? Well, we need to find the staff of Magnus. I'm sorry, what? Well. I'd certainly love to have such a powerful staff, but I'm not really sure that any of us need it. Nope, we definitely do. It's connected to the, the Doom Bauble. And how do you know of this? Um, I spoke to the Knowledge Bauble. Did you really? Yes. Did you specifically mention the staff of Magnus? Yes. I, I'm impressed with your initiative. Of course, someone will need to follow up on this. You mean me, don't you? I certainly do. Since you went so far as to seek out the auger for advice, I thought you'd be more enthusiastic. I could use a nap Something first? As specific and ancient as the Staff of Magnus. I'm not sure we'd ever find something like that. I seem to recall Mirabel mentioning the Staff somewhat recently. Why don't you see if she can tell you anything? I'm quite pleased with That's your convenient. Progress, you know. You've certainly proven yourself to be more than a mere apprentice. Well done. This circlet once proved invaluable to me. I hope it can be of use to you now. I have my own, actually. But thanks, I guess. Okay, stand off. <clears throat> we'll, uh, we'll go speak to Mirabelle. And then I guess uh, have some food and a nice nap. Hopefully the weather's better tomorrow because something tells me that the staff of Magnus is not going to be close by. And that we're going to have to do some uh, seeking to find it. The Hall of Attainment. Otherwise known as the Frat Boy Hall. Full of people with crazy scrolls. And... If you have a moment, could you help me with something? Sure, but... Does Tofty know you have a guy in there? Because last time he was in there. Help, if you can spare the time. What do you need? We're all trying to become better mages, right? No, I'm perfect. Well, I need someone I can practice a few spells on. Nothing dangerous, really. Would you be willing to assist me? Uh, sure. What do you need? Oh, good. I was afraid I'd have to go ask Shazargo. Now, you just stand there. Please hold still and don't move. But you mean cast a spell at me? Oh dear! What did you do? It wasn't supposed to happen. Do you? Do you feel all right? You look very um. Great. Well, now that you mention it. I am so very sorry. I went over this again and again, and I was sure it would have better results. Um. Tell me this isn't permanent. It's not. It shouldn't be. 
You'll be back to normal. Okay, no shouldn't time. be isn't very reassuring. When you are, we can try this again. And I'll be sure to get it right. I'm just gonna back away now. I'd better get going. Yes, yes, you should. Oh, get this conversation with over with quickly and have some food. If there are any problems, let me know. It's my job to keep things running smoothly. What do you know about the staff of Magnus? Well, now that's an odd question. Why in the world would you be asking? Because I want the staff of Magnus. The Eye of Magnus? Yes. I can appreciate that this thing, this orb, it's very impressive. Very unique and definitely worth studying. Yes, the Doom Bauble. Let's not jump to any conclusions or assign it importance beyond what we're certain of. I'm certain. Uh, the Augur referred to it the eye, as the Eye of Magnus and me. The Augur? Yes. Just what have you gotten yourself involved in? No whatever idea. Whatever is going on, whatever you're up to, be very careful. No. So the staff? Well, it's said to be very powerful. Has the capacity to store an incredible amount of magical power, as the story goes. But it's more myth than anything at this point. I've no doubt that it actually exists, but no one has seen it in, what, decades? Longer? I'm not sure. The only time I've heard it mentioned was when those Synod characters showed up some months oh, ago. Oh, the Synod. Now, we're going to ask who the Synod is here, but um, out of, like, out of the character of Manny, Matthias himself knows who the Synod are. They are the, essentially they're the new Mages Guild, but they don't, they're more a political affiliation of posers than they are genuine spellcasters, which is why he opted to join the underground kind of resistance movement of spellcasters planning to uh, aid in the war against the Thalmor when it eventually comes back. So we're going to ask through our alias who the Synod are, but the character himself already knows. Mages based out of Cyrodiil. They fancy themselves the imperial authority on magic these last few hundred years. My understanding is that all they really do is make noise in an attempt to curry favor from the emperor. Lots of politics, little magic. Yeah, it sounds about right. I was surprised to find them on our doorstep. They seemed amiable enough, but their line of questioning made me uneasy. How so? It became clear they're trying to hoard powerful artifacts, looking to consolidate power. Yeah, that seems like what they do, so... To put you back on track for like the fourth time this conversation, where is the staff? No one here does. The Synod seemed convinced it was somewhere in Skyrim. They inquired about the ruins of Mizulft, but that's all I remember. It sounded like they were heading there, though they were rather secretive about why. I suppose if you're intent on looking for the staff, there's a chance they might be in Mizulft yet. Just don't expect them to be cooperative. I don't expect them to be competent, never mind cooperative, but... For now, we're gonna head over you to our. Heard any more about dragon sightings, have you? No, which is fine with me. Agreed. A pity. You have any idea how much fangs hmm. would be worth? Or even better, bottle their flame. The bottle fire. Pay an immense amount. Oh. I can't. No, I don't. I think it's time we had some food and some drink. An entire loaf of bread. And you know what? We're gonna have a cheese wheel too. We're gonna just gorge ourselves tonight. <laughs> have a nice cup of tea, warmed up on the uh, on the fire there. And then, I think we're just gonna sleep for a solid twelve hours. We have had a doozy of a day. Sleep off this weird green haze we're in. Hopefully. Oh. We're hungry and thirsty. Have a nice cup of tea when we wake up. And uh, another another slice of toast, I guess. And we'll, we'll add some cheese to this one. We will have some cheese on toast. Have you heard from your family recently? No, not really. Couriers don't seem to like delivering letters here. Uh, that's too bad. Um, I still need some help, if you can spare the time. Your spell wore off. Exactly as I said it would. Yeah, exactly as you said it would. The first part didn't work. I am confident it will work this time. 
Okay, one more chance. If you tell me blue this time, we're done. Good, good. It'll be worth it, I assure you. Okay, now don't move at all. Okay. Oh my God. that isn't right. Just wait. Just I can fix this. Am I a cow? Oh no, that's not good. Woman, stop! Let me try again. This really isn't turning out the way I no, I'm a dog. Right this time, I swear. You swore you wouldn't get it right, wrong this time. There. All the hell, try and. Well, it all worked out in the end, didn't it? No. Let's. Okay, let's just. We're going to pretend none of this ever happened. Agreed. And thank you for your help. You're a good friend. Yeah, man's best friend, apparently, if you have your way. Right, Getting out of this place. That woman is crazy. Oh, hey, the weather's nice. Now, let's see where we have to go. Okay, we are going quite far south. We'll take the, um, the Windhelm Road that we took last time. Hopefully, it's not too cold. The air is cold. You are getting colder. Okay. Hopefully, it's not too bad. It's not, like, biting cold or blizzards or anything. And we may try and stay in the southern areas for a little while. As uh, it is super frigid up here, we do have a bunch of side quests that we could do. And I do think Manny is uh, eager to go back to I've solid. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. I hey. didn't see you. Ah, a letter from the Yarl. Moving up in the world, eh? Oh, sure, I got a letter from a Yarl. Go. That is clearly a scam, and I am not opening it. No y'all would have their no y'all in their right mind would be interested in a common spell slinger like myself. Some are saying the Sigic monks have been seen in Sky. How How do random guards know about that? The guy can teleport and freeze time. And everybody knows he showed up. Well I guess maybe the Thalmor. After on Carnor sent some letter home, maybe they spread some some rumors. We feel comfortable. Good to know. We're just going to follow this road as quickly as we can. I think we may try and pick up a horse somewhere down south. We do have actually a decent amount of money from the uh, the trading we did off screen. I sold a bunch of our um, the portions that we made and a bunch of the random items we'd picked up. And uh, I think we made it to yeah, nearly 3,000 gold. Still with me there, Stan? Okay, we seem to have lost Stenvar. I'm sure he'll catch up. Who's that? You okay there, buddy? All right, hand over your valuables, or I will gut you like a fish. Mmm. Walk away. Nice try, but you do not scare me. I am not going to ask again. I don't have time for you. Stanvar, if you would be so kind. Okay, well. He had a nice gem on him. Okay, well. Guess we're done with that. We feel chilly. Well, let's, uh, let's keep, our, keep our... You know what, actually... We're not having that this morning. I'm out for a pleasant walk with my friend Stanvar. We're going somewhere where it's a bit warmer and you can't visibly see icebergs. Is that really so so difficult of a concept to not be able to see icebergs? And you know what? Screw you too, Goat. It's not what 
I wanted. I want to keep fox skin on my left hand. And I wonder if this stacks. No, it doesn't. It overlaps. Overwrites. It over somethings. Looks like we're making uh, half decent progress here. Now then, isn't this the cave that we had to run away from because there was like a gloom stalker? Agreed, Stenvar. Which is why I brought you. You ready, buddy? Good way to in increase our alteration, too. Now, we are going to sneak through here with uh, Stenvar, old buddy, old pal. And yes, this is the place we had to run from. Get ready for a fight. Indeed. Now, I think um, Matthias' pride was really hurt having to run from here last time. So, coming back with the new knowledge that he has and the new uh, the new friend that he has, I think is um is going to be good for him, assuming he can make it through. Of course, last time he was here, he essentially got his butt handed to him and ran away from one of the the Thalma Thalma. I always get the Thalmor and the, Th the Falmor confused, because the, the pronunciations are quite similar. That thing has a bound sword. Uh, Stenvar, if you would be so kind as to put the bow away and start hitting things with your very real sword. Okay, I guess we're... Uh... Oh, okay, we're going uh, we're gonna to be running now. Is fighting that uh, first enemy had some some negative impacts on Falmer there, on Stenvar. Sorry. Come on, bug. There you are. Okay. Well, we killed the worst thing that we've seen down here so far. Look at it, no eyes, those things are just weird. Is this and this is the end of the cave too. Look at how smoothly that went with just just from having a friend nearby. Found my shield. You look a little... Ready to go, buddy? Yeah, let's do it. So I think um, from, my, uh, from Matthias' perspective, that is a good benchmark of just how far he has progressed in his training. And I think there's a few other places, especially near Solitude, that we had to run from earlier on. And I think we may have to go back there now and try our hand against the enemies within. Now, I do, I do think a, a very large part of our success just there was due to having Stenvar with us. Somebody to... Um, you know, take the brunt of the blows. And he did that fairly well. But he didn't last particularly long either. Just long enough for us to throw out the majority of our magic. 
Now we are still very cold, so we may have to uh, take refuge in the fort up ahead that we're running towards. We are making a uh, some progress in a southerly direction, which is nice. But we're still in the cold areas of Skyrim. Something tells me this is going to be um, bandit infested. Because there's a palisade there. Oh no, undead. You know what? So, there we are. Just all go scroll one more try. Hopefully that didn't just kill us. It did. Okay, I guess we were uh, low on health from being freezing. I assumed that thing did a, um, a percentage of our health in damage, but I think it literally just does a load of damage to whoever casts it. But if there's undead there, I'm sure there's some inside that we can try the scroll on. And we are gathering a bunch of uh, fur and food to use on the way down south. Because, um, well, we want to make some better stuff for uh, our good buddy Stenvar down there. Or at least um, improve what he has. And we can't take what he has because it's just equipped to him. We definitely want to find him a better weapon. Maybe even make him a, a weapon shield combo. Look at that for a long shot. Now we are freezing, so we need to we need to hurry this up and get inside this castle. The fox skin only doing so much to uh, keep us warm. Ah, necromancers. Stand up. Would you mind putting away the um, the bow? And getting out the great big hunk of iron. Thank you very much. Chondra Adept. Well, I think it's uh, well, time we put on our big hunk of steel. Stand up, buddy, please. Okay, we definitely need to be slightly more careful when approaching this place. And, um... Not just go running straight in. But that many spellcasters in one place is a good sign for us. Now, the very cold is a massive debuff, and we would be able to, um... Yeah, we would be a lot more effective if we weren't freezing to death. So this uh, this fox skin is definitely not a solution to the cold. It's um, just something to help fend it off for a short while. And I guess it's meant to counteract the fact that uh, robes aren't very effective against the weather. Now then, we're going to try and uh, stand up here and throw our spells. Rather than running too deep in, straight away. Stand old buddy, if you could uh, intervene, that'd be great. Stop. Oh, my head is injured. That's very unfortunate. So we're just going to go in for some potions here. Fortify health. Bit of healing. We're going to throw on our sword. And we're going to throw on some, uh, some venom onto the sword. Go for a power attack and stagger this woman. Just cut and cut and cut and run. 
Oh, we just died for no apparent reason. Or did we fall over? We fell over. Nope, we did die. I'm not sure what killed us there. Maybe an ice spike to the back. Um, you know what? I think we are going to have to uh, head into the cave, light a fire and wait for an hour so that we can go at this with our full health and magicka. And uh, I do have a broken MCM right now, which refuses to remember commands. I'm not sure exactly what has happened to do this, but it only remembers the commands in the active session. It doesn't save them. So we'll uh, magically light a fire, because we are just that cool. There we are. And now I think we are... Uh, yeah, we just we just hang out here for an hour. Get ourselves nice and warm. You begin to warm up. Well, hopefully by now I am just warm. Let's go check. Yep, okay, we're no longer cold. Going to destroy the campfire. We're going to uh, cast... Our fox skin. We're gonna head out in a Skyrim. Should probably remember while we're on our way up there to also cast the orc flesh on ourselves. And not forget that we have Ray's zombie. Oh, that's cool. There's actually an effect for that. I did not know. Uh, I don't actually even use Uplay, but for some reason it likes to pop up. I wonder if these Stormcloaks will help us fight the, um... They are. That's very good for us. And out of all of the targets out here, they of course chose me. Petty Soul Gem and a Silver Necklace, that's nice. Go Stormcloaks, defend Skyrim for the Nords. Yes. Wow, look at them go. I guess, um... It would be nice to have a couple of these guys around all the time. Try and help out from the back here without, uh... Oh! Oh! Without putting ourselves in too much danger. And then, huh, we got a kill cam, but not a kill. Now we need to be very careful not to hit the storm cloaks, so we're actually just going to let them do their own thing there. Blacksmith's portion, very handy. And then I think, um, nice, a soul gem. I think then Stenvar and myself are going to head into Fort Kaztav. Now then, I think we're gonna we're gonna end this episode here, folks. Having survived the entryway with the the aid of the stormcloaks, oddly enough. But knowing that the uh, this place has more in store, and we'll see that next time. See you then, folks. Mm -hmm.